You've all heard the stories, outrageous parental behavior on the soccer field, at the hockey rink, on the ball field. But now what you may not know is the refs are starting to push back. One referee actually started a Facebook page called Offside, where he wants support for referees who have had to endure bad adult behavior through the years. Actually, the National Association of Sports Officials say that for refs that quit, 75% do it because of bad adult behavior. Joining me now is Brian Barlow, who is an experienced referee on the soccer field. Brian, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? Man, I'm super good. You know, now that I don't have any parents around me, I'm, I'm safe, I'm sound, I'm in a good spot, so let's, let's do this thing. I've never heard this show called The Safe Space, but we'll, we'll take that. <laughs> All right. Okay, fair enough. Is it really that bad? Absolutely is that bad. It's, it's actually deplorable is what it is. Listen, referees, we can handle, you know, the, the come on ref, what are you looking at ref? Ref, get in the game. Ref, you're, you're missing a good game. Listen, we've heard all those comments. We get it. You're not excited about uh, referees in general. I understand that. But it's the, it's, it's the times when we go across the line and we start, we start becoming um, vulgar and we start using cuss words and, and the kids are listening and hearing and absorbing. And so it takes the purity and the innocence away from the game and it's, it's enacting your personality, your vulgarities, Don't your insecurities, that. and now that's becoming a part of the game. All right, Brian, I want to bring in a couple of parents. So you're hearing what Brian is saying. Uh, Jeanette, you were shaking your head. Uh, do the refs need to uh, toughen up or do the parents no. need to calm down? Does this help or hurt? I think Brian is absolutely right. We actually once were in a travel league where parents had to sign a code of conduct that they wouldn't yell at the refs. And the first infraction, you'd be removed from the game. The second infraction, you'd be barred from attending your kids' sporting events. That's how bad it's gotten, Bill. Bill, what do you think? I mean, it seems like this speaks to a much bigger problem. There's a lot of vitriol and animosity and anger in just about everything. I'm not surprised it comes out. Do you know parents, I wonder if they're feeling like they're standing up for their kid and it's very misguided. I don't think they are. I mean, I, I've got three boys playing traveling soccer and Brian, I can't thank you enough for what you do and the time you spend in putting in on this and it's gotten worse. I mean, people, this is probably one of the most disgusting displays for a parent I've ever seen. Brian, is this a, a thing, is this something that coaches and refs though could overcome by uh, throwing parents out if they have to? I've seen that happen. Or just stopping the game. I've actually seen refs threaten to say, look, you're gonna forfeit the game until you calm down and, and well, train listen, people into good, better behavior. You know, you, you said a very funny statement. Can we just make parents stop acting like this? Well, my first thing is, can we just make adults be adults? I mean, it's absolutely a cancerous epidemic at youth sports. It has to stop. Stop losing your mind. Have some integrity. Teach your kid that when they get knocked down, you got to get back up. When you get hit, you got to hit back. And stop whining and sounding so entitled. Thank you, Brian. Just quick, last thing to wrap up. What do you, what do, you do, what do you want parents to do when you guys do blow a call? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what Thanks, else you man. want? Appreciate you joining me. Thank you, guys. All right.